Welcome to your daily guidance. Guess who's here? Guess who's here right next to the cards? <laughs> All right. That would be Annie Mae. Annie Mae. Annie Mae. Okay. What does Spirit have to say to you today? You are a spiritual... You or a spiritual teacher, you have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. So, um, you may become a leader. You may become a leader in this type of uh, in this type of work. So, if you are wondering whether you are capable, uh, yeah, you are, and it's part of your life purpose. So let it just unfold naturally, but don't be afraid. When you get an opportunity, embrace it. Okay. Oh. oh, did you see that? <laughs> Maybe your divine counterpart is also going to be a spiritual teacher along with you. We're going to need a lot of spiritual teachers going forward in the new earth. We're going to have a lot of things to need to teach everybody or reteach everybody. Okay. Have faith and hope because something positive is on the horizon that you just can't see yet. So no matter how bleak your surroundings seem or how scary or whatever stories you're hearing, just know that you're coming into a brighter time where you and or your counterpart are going to be helping people. So focus on that. Focus on what you're creating. Uh, now that you've asked for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. So, you know, angels cannot help you unless you ask for help. So make sure that you are talking to your angels. And then also make sure that you're willing to receive. Um, this Your counterpart might be looking to get married and you need to keep an open mind. Um, okay, well, they just said an animal is helping you. All right, so we're going to open it up randomly and go right here. Bull. <laughs> Fertile time approaches. Here, let me get closer here. Fertile time approaches. If you are not too stubborn, sow new seeds and do not rush them to grow. Work to make life fertile. So, you know, that's what they're talking about, about receiving. Like, we're going to bring this person to you, but you can't sit there with your arms crossed. You can't be stubborn about it. You have to have faith that this situation can heal and turn around and become something that you've always dreamt that it could be. So, you know, don't don't um, throw the opportunity away when you get that blessing of being able to, um, you know, learn from your counterpart at least. You're, you might be having some communication that's going to be coming through. And you don't want to throw that opportunity away because you're being stubborn. All right. Divine guidance has brought this together. Like angels have been working behind the scenes to try to bring balance to the situation. So stay open and be wise. Yeah, you are aligned. You're aligned with your purpose, both of you. And you guys are balancing out the, both the good and the bad in you. And you guys are going forward unstoppably. They just said, allow, allow it. There's going to be a lot of healing here. You're going to be ending a cycle, and, and they just said a fake cycle. You're going to end a fake cycle, uh, like faking it to make it in life, and you're going to actually genuinely be authentically happy, and you're going to be in your true colors. You're going to be shining in your true colors. All right? The devil. So being that all these cards are quite positive, this would be passion. So follow your passion. And if your passion involves being a spiritual leader, then this you're being encouraged. That that's definitely what you need to do. Your passion may involve healing. Your passion may involve driving or racing or, you know, traveling. Um, it could be involved, like, keeping people on track with their divine life purpose. It could be, your passion could be talking to angels, um, Balancing yin and yang uh, could involve talking to spirit or it could involve communication. If you've been wanting to teach about communication or communicate something about life, even 
for spirituality. I see a bunch of angel wings in the background. So whatever this is, you're going to be blessed in this endeavor. Yeah, I see work. It's involving work. And partnering up with somebody. And or partnering up with somebody. It could be possible that this person that you love, may you may compromise with them and just work with them. Instead of being in a romantic relationship, you could, you, that might be a possibility too. If you guys, if either of you chose a different path, then maybe you're meant to work together. But whatever it is that you're meant to do, you're going to be doing it. So hang tight. <laughs> it's coming for you. All right. Have yourself a beautiful day and I'll talk to you tomorrow.